There are three backup types that you need to know for your Microsoft certification. Although interestingly, Microsoft does not include these three types in their backup capabilities in either server or client. However, you do need to know about them because they are industry standards. The first is the full backup. This is where you choose it could be a volume or a partition or an entire disk or even an entire system but you do a full backup of whatever it is you choose including everything on it that's the full backup the second is the incremental backup this is where we back up all of the changes since the previous backup although I forgot to close out the parenthesis there we go uh, the full backup we do an increment, which is everything that's changed since the full backup, and then another increment back, incremental backup, which is everything since the last incremental backup, and so forth. Now, in order to restore all of my files, I would need the full backup plus every incremental backup. This is fairly fast to back up because these are small changes, relatively, but slower to restore because I have to restore every one of the incremental backups and each of these incremental backups can of course be bigger or smaller depending on how much has changed since the last backup so if I install something this one might be bigger and then I have very little activity this one might be smaller again and so forth the third kind is the differential backup in this case we back up everything since the last full backup so here, this differential backup is everything since, that's changed since the last full backup. But on this one, everything that's changed since the last full backup. Now this one, really, I could throw away or I could keep, keep one or two of these around for uh, redundancy just in case something happened to this one. But uh, other than that, this thing is no, no use to me any longer. To restore, I need the full backup plus the last differential backup because all of these are in this last differential backup. This is a lot slower to back up because let's say I only do a full backup once every six months. Well this differential backup here has six months worth of changes in it. So slower to back up but faster to restore because I only need two files to restore. Each differential backup will be progressively larger of course since each one has everything from the previous one in it plus any new changes. All right, let's take a look at the local server backup in Windows Server. Here we are in the Server Manager, and I can click Tools and Windows Server Backup to get to it. Or, of course, if, server is, if the Server Manager is not running, I can always click here and go to Windows Administrative Tools. And then it'll be at the bottom. This is the same list you see when you when you click Tools in Windows Server Manager. However, if I click this and open it up, you'll discover that we do not have it installed. We have to install the feature first. Here it says Windows Server Backup is not installed on this computer. To install Windows Server Backup from Server Manager, click Add Roles and Features and follow the wizard to select the Windows Server Backup feature. So let's go back to Windows. Let's close this out and go back to the Server Manager. We'll add roles and features. Oh, I have to wait for it to populate. We'll add roles and features. Click Next, 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 all the way down to Features here. When I get down to Features, I'll go down here to Windows Server Backup and I'll have to install that feature. I'll go ahead and let this install and I'll pause the video and we'll come back when it's done. Okay, it says that it's installed now. I can close that up. Let's go back to Tools down to Windows Server Backup. And now you can see we have this uh, backup capability as soon as it populates. There we go. And I can schedule my backup, backup once, recover, and so forth.